G'day Roy at Sunland Caravans. Look, we're here at the Brisbane Caravan and Camping Show and on our stand we've got a Phoenix on display and we've also got a chassis. So we thought this might be a really good opportunity to just go through my chassis again and tell you about it because at the end of the day this is truly a work of art and engineering that's just beyond anything else that, that's in the marketplace. So let's just start with what this chassis comes with as standard. So the chassis itself has got the DO35 hitch on the front here. And these plates can be in various different locations depending upon the tow hitch of the particular vehicles. But normally this would be its center point. It's nice and low here. It's about 560 off the ground to the center pin. And that works nicely for most four wheel drives like um, Land cruises, etc. So the chain, which is a three and a half ton rated chain, and then of course we just put the little hook on the side here so that that tucks away nicely, and a ratchet handbrake. We also have, and you'll see here that this is actually a double wheel brace. So the double uh, wheel clamp, rather. So the double clamping holds in two spots. So there's only the one handle. See some of them that do two separate ones with two handles. A bit messy. Don't like it. A frame, which is actually made of steel. Now this is a hot dip galvanised steel A-frame. The reason that we use steel in this particular part of the chassis design is this is where I want the flex to happen. So while you're travelling, this is the flexible part of the chassis. So it's braced correctly and we put this plate just here. This plate is a multi-purpose functional plate for adding accessories later. The most common one is of course the black jack uh, that you see on a lot of my caravans. So moving back here, you'll notice that the cabling is run through for the handbrake through these little pipe pieces here. Keeps that nice and neat and nice and straight. One thing with handbrake cables is keeping them straight is actually a very important part of getting the leverage. So when you pull your handbrake, that that's gonna work right. Now, we take this hot dip galvanized A-frame and we attach it to this aluminium railing. Now this aluminium railing is very specially made. It's got two centers. This is an upright and this actually comes out at, at an angle. The holes are there to take away the unwanted material, keeping the chassis rail nice and light. Now when we attach this to the A-frame, we fit uh, crush proof tubes inside the aluminium so that when we're bolting it up it doesn't actually crush it and then we use a compound between the aluminium and the steel to ensure that we don't get oxidization between the two different materials. The final result on that is that we've now got a super light but incredibly strong chassis. This is very thick aluminium that's why we need to take that excess material so we get the strength it's like bridge construction if you like we got the strength we and we've also taken away the additional weight. On these um, chassis, we also fit the spare wheel carrier. Now the spare wheel carrier, again, this is made out of aluminium. This is simply a wind up and down mechanism. It's a really great way of carrying your spare wheel. It doesn't really interfere with the weight distribution because we allow for this in the first place. But if you want to remove this wheel later down the track to change a tire, then it's simply a matter of winding it down, unhooking the base plate, which is very simple to do, and then driving the caravan forward. Now your wheel's sitting on the floor, tilt it up, move it round to wherever you want to change it. Makes changing the spare wheel really easy without being back braking. Moving further down the chassis. Now, the A-frame, as I mentioned before, is made of hop dip galvanized steel, and so is the sub-assembly. The sub-assembly which holds the suspension. The suspension, of course, is Cruise Master, and the latest ones we use in the latest XT suspension. Now, that sub-assembly has been made to house the steel suspension components. Again, hot dip galvanized, but it's been made specifically um, to house these water tanks which we've had made specially for it. Now these water tanks contain a 190 litre and a 60 litre. The 60 litre is for, general, uh, for drinking water, so it's completely isolated from the 190, has its own, totally its own plumbing. The 190 is a general purpose tank. Now having the water where we've got it, this has no impact whatsoever on the ball and having no, uh, no 
bearing on the ball weight, this fan will always tow exactly the same, whether the tanks are full or empty, and that is a big deal, let me tell you. So, moving on as we come down, we've also designed for this chassis a grey water tank. Now, the grey water tank is designed, again, in for, for specific purpose. It goes across so we can get it nice and thin, and it tilts, so the water will always come down to the low point. And then we've got flush points at the end of the tank. So if you want to get rid of any gunk out of this tank at a later date, you just hook your hose up and you can flush that tank away. Um, look, it is designed specifically for that purpose. It's designed to go where you can sit on this chassis now. This is actually a really good layout. This layout will always tow particularly well as long as what we fit on top is designed to fit the chassis, which of course in our case, it always is. So a couple more features on the chassis. We've got these aluminium outriggers on the outside. And with those aluminium outriggers, they are little special components. One is this particular one here, which is designed for the legs. Now you'll notice that the leg is swung forward. I constantly hear of people swinging the legs backwards and not forwards. And the reason they do that is they're told by people if the leg drops down, then it can flip your caravan. Now that is complete and utter nonsense. Um, if this leg was to fall down while in transit, um, not that it can because the latch would stop it from doing it, let's just imagine it did happen, you're going to lose your leg. That's it, full stop. That would be a worst case scenario. But by moving it forward like this, there's less chance of you damaging the leg than there is swinging it back where we actually have um, your departure angle which we want to keep nice and high. So when we build the caravan, we put that bit of a slope at the back here to improve your departure angle. The last thing you want to do is destroy it by running the leg backwards. You'll notice also that we run the wiring through the channel. Now, this one hasn't yet had it fitted, but so we've actually just used some zip ties to put it in place for the show. But normally there would be tags all along this and this, um, wiring loom sits on top of those tags. The idea is I don't want this sitting on the base because if you do get water, uh, mud, stones or whatever sitting inside that channel, it's really easy to just flush them out. But it's not easy to flush out if you've got wires in the way. So we bring the wires up nice and high. This also means that the entire wiring loom is really well protected running it inside here. It also means if anything did get ro uh, go wrong, you can get to that wiring loom. So put it in a normal chassis rail where you can't get it and sits on the bottom of the rail, just doesn't cut the mustard by comparison. So the, here we go, we've got a super well-designed chassis and then everything that goes with it is also well-designed. And I should point out that even goes back to the rear bumper. So the rear bumper is designed to be a, a pole carrier. So you undo this, this is actually a pole, it is aluminium, it's not plastic, and it sits up fairly high, and that also doubles up as the light bar. So the lights are built into that pole carrier. The pole carrier is really neat. You can put all sorts of things in there from fishing rods to your silage hoses to, in fact, any damn thing you like, it'll all go in there quite nicely. So all in up, again, this chassis is designed to be as light as possible and as strong as possible. So we use basically the same chassis, whether or not it's a two ton or even a three and a half or four ton chassis with exactly the same materials as you're seeing. That means that when we designed it, we set our safety factors based on three and a half ton. Now at three and a half ton, this chassis has got a safety factor of nine, nine. Yep, just make sure I've got my arithmetic right there. Nine, safety factor of nine. So what does that mean? Well, the government suggests in the regulations in the VSB1 that for a road caravan, the safety factor should be three. Their recommendations in the VSB1 is that the safety factor for an off-road caravan should in fact be five. This has got a safety factor of nine. So what it's telling you is that this chassis is way stronger than even the government recommended safety factor of five. In fact, I'd go so far as to say there isn't many chassis out there that could come close to this in terms of strength. And there's certainly nothing out there that'll come close to this in strength and match its weight. So bearing that in mind, 
I put a 20 year warranty, 20 year warranty on the chassis for off-road use. You know, if that's not putting your money where your mouth is, I, I don't know what is. This chassis is better than anything else that's in the market. I believe better than anything that's been in the market. And I think it's better than anything that's going to be in the market in the foreseeable future. Because I can't see how you can improve upon this. And that's a big tale from someone like me that spends their life trying to find ways to improve things. So, look, I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you are here at the show, I hope I haven't bored you too much. Haven't bored those of you at home. If you want to know more, you know where to go. Sunland Caravans, go to our website, go to our Facebook page, come in and see us, give us a call, landline, mobile phone. Hell, we're really easy to get hold of. Come and have a look at the chassis at the show if you can. I'll catch you for the next one. Cheers.